The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, the Money Masters. Good day, Money Masters and Treasure Hunters. Welcome to the September 17th, wonderful Wednesday edition of the Money Masters show. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I hope that you're off to a great start of your day. Hey, let's make sure, let's just make sure that you and I, that we do everything in our power to have a wonderful Wednesday. And we should always remember that the deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. And folks, I do appreciate you being here with me today. I know we're each equal with regard to our time. 86,400 seconds is what we've got. And you're going to spend the next uh, 3,600 seconds, I hope, with me out here. And I'll do everything I can during those 3,600 seconds to share with you extraordinary tools that help us identify where prices are headed to. We'll utilize our lightning bolt pattern, our A to B equals CD. We'll use our Fibonacci expansions and retracements, the combination that form Gertley buy, sell patterns, butterfly buy and sell patterns, of course, Japanese candlesticks. That's how the market communicates to you and I, so we need to make sure that we pay attention that we pay attention to those signs, and we'll use every other tool that we can out there. We're going to take a look at some consolidation patterns, though, right off the bat, because they can help us to identify price projections. This is a call-in talk show. That means we'd love to hear from you. Absolutely love to hear from you. And the easy way to do that is to get over that little hurdle. I know that the heart starts beating a little bit faster. Sometimes the palms get a little bit sweaty out there. Uh, but that's how the uh, that's that's the way that it works out there. It works that way even for me if I need to call into a talk show. But just give me a call, 877-927-6648. It's always good to expand yourself and do something a little bit more that takes a little bit outside of that shell. Of course, internationally, you can reach us at 727-445-1044. Together, you and I, we can go hunting for bulls and bears. It is Wonderful Wednesday. This is Tiger Financials Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. Right now, we got the Dow trading up 26 points, trading out at 17,158. No idea where my data feed just went. There we go. It's back. S&P is up about four, trading out at 2,002. Composite, NASDAQ composite, the dog. Not so doggy. Up 10 points right now. Trading 4562. Russell 2000. That's on a charge this morning. That's up six points. That's trading at 1157 as we speak right now. Now. Had a question, so I want to go ahead and answer it. Had a great question from uh, Larry in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, as we were going out of the uh, last show out there. And he his primary question was, basically, if I summarize it like this, first of all, when you are trading... Uh, so it really two primary questions, right? When you're trading, how do you deal with all the news or how do you deal with all the naysayers or people that are actually able to go ahead and put together numbers that are consistent throughout time that help us understand where the economy is at, where things are at? What do you do as a, a trader out here? And my suggestion was to him, and uh, I was only speaking to him now, my suggestion was that what we do is we just simply, if you're a technical trader, that what we do is we just trade the charts, that we turn off all the news. The reason I say that is because as a technical trader, when you go back and you take a look at all the historical patterns that you trade out there, you have no idea what news took place on the specific day that may have had that setup. You would be looking at a candle configuration or a retracement or an expansion or some type of pattern that you trade out there. So if that's the case, when we look at historical charts and you're basing your trading decisions on those and and you don't really know what news is associated with that candle or that day, that means get rid of the news. That means get rid of the noise out there. And I'll, what we need to remember here with regard to the news and the noise, it is supposed to be negative, unfortunately, because that's what grabs most people's attention. Real leaders, wouldn't it be wonderful to have a television station where it was really all about leadership? Because, you see, leaders, what real leaders in the world do out here, and I know that you're a leader, so I know that you do this, and what real leaders do is they help those that are doing poorly to do well, and they help those those that are doing well to do even better. See, that's the world. That's the Stevie Island that we should all be living on out here. Now, the question was, how is it that others, in the wake of all this bad news and everything out there, can make such lofty projections as to where price ought to go? Well, you know, one of the coolest patterns out there is the consolidation pattern. And if we take a look at the consolidation pattern of the S&P 500, the chart that I'm going to put on my screen out here, this shows a 16-year, 800-point consolidation move inside of the S&P contract. 16 years, folks. 
Now, this consolidation pattern is no different than every other consolidation pattern. If we go take a look at what the NASDAQ did, we talked about it yesterday while I was on the air. The NASDAQ had a 50-point consolidation pattern that it completed to the downside before the market took off to the upside out here. It completed that pattern. We were within like a buck or something like that, right? It completed that pattern. Well, consolidation patterns work the same way on any time frame chart. You've got a monthly chart out here that consolidated for six years. It broke through that consolidation. Let me get my uh, crosshair out here. It broke through that consolidation on the month of uh, March of 2013. When you break a consolidation and it came back and tested it, this is a monthly chart It actually came back and tested it in June of 2013 when price got down to the uh, 1654 level. And from there, Roger Ramjet says the price projection is equal or greater than the consolidation added to the top of the consolidation. That's what we refer to as a measured move. The measured move, 2350. That doesn't have to stop at 2350. That is simply our measured move. We are 2002 as we speak right now. Does that mean that the market can't pull back? Of course it can pull back. We can see some retracements and so forth. Right now we're in the uh, we're in the unfavorable seasonal cycle. We're in the second year term presidential cycle when August and September are supposed to be bad. Folks, the third year of a presidential cycle typically And I mean, over the history tends to be one heck of a bullish leg. So I can easily make the case, just when you take a look at patterns out here, that we're going to see 2350 before we're going to see the 1574, 1575 level. That is how somebody is able to, that's how I can make a price projection of 2350. It's been consistent inside of, uh, it's been consistent inside of uh, my newsletter pretty much since I've been writing it. So that's one, that's, that's one price projection. Let's take a look at a, let's take a look at an index here that in essence has been consolidated. Let's take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 monthly chart. What did it do? 17, gosh darn, years out there. A 17-year, 500-point consolidation move. It broke over the consolidation pattern, and it did that right here the month of uh, January back in 2013. Nice wide-ranging bar as it did that. Its price projection is 1350. Now, here's the thing. If you go back, if we go back, and we, we'll do that right now. If we go back, we take a look at the Russell 2000 as we speak. I'll put the Russell 2000 chart on my screen right now. What the Russell 2000 has been doing, I'm going to pull this back right now, and you can see, take a look at how this actually works here because this is kind of uncanny. If we take a look at the uh, current consolidation level. It runs between the 1079 area to 1208. Let's just make it easy for, for, for me out here. You're looking at, what, a 130-point move. 130 point move. Add 130 points to 1208. What do we get? You get 1340. So you've got a daily pattern inside the Russell 2000. If it ever breaks above the 1208 ish area, on the daily chart, this thing has been consolidating for 10 months out here. Now, I don't know if it's going to break the consolidation top or not. What I do know is that it fits right into the mix of the monthly chart. So if the Russell 2000 ever does break the 1208.65, I would say please don't be in that TZA trade if you are one that is short because now you've got two patterns that are suggesting 1350 would be on the way. Here's the chart that's a real doozy. You want to talk about a doozy out here. It is the New York Stock Exchange. Now, the New York Stock Exchange has been an 11-year, 6,200-point consolidation. So you want to consider somebody being whacked out here. Look, folks, if you are somebody that believes in consolidation patterns because they work on a continuous basis out here, then over the course of time, what the New York Stock Exchange did here just a few short months ago, let's go take a look at it. What it did here in March of 2014 was broke out of that 11-year consolidation. And that 11-year consolidation says that the New York Stock Exchange wants to make a run to 16500 Well, folks, if that actually happens, you can forget about 2350 and you can forget about 1350 inside of the uh, Russell 2000. The only thing that possibly changes that is when a consolidation, when price moves back into the consolidation level. And that's at 10387 If and when that does that, if, and I can't tell you when it does it, if it does that, then you have a false breakout. But until then, the message of the New York Stock Exchange 
change is that it wants higher price. Those patterns that are associated with major tops out here is when price gets extended and it does it on less relative weakness or less relative strength out there. And that's not in place inside the New York Stock Exchange. It blew through that, and it did that the month of uh, June out here. So, uh, you know, does that mean that the market can't pull back? Of course it can pull back. I can't control what the market is going to do in the next moment out here. But what I want to do, and I want to uh, share with you, I want to share with Larry, uh, is a simple standpoint of, and, you know, of, of how the of how somebody can make those kinds of uh, projections out there. Because that is really what's baked into these consolidation patterns. If we go take a look at the NASDAQ composite out here, right, which has really been the uh, lead dog. Now, the NASDAQ composite has completed its 13-year consolidation measured move out here. Pretty wild. It had a 13-year 1,500-point consolidation that it finally broke out of. It did that here during the uh, month. Well, broke out on uh, February of 2012, came back and tested it in January, uh, May, in May of 2012, broke out again in uh, June of 2012. The last and final test was November 2012, and ba-boom! to the upside. Now, its price projection was 4400 Hey, we're trading at 4557 What does this mean? Well, look, here's what it means to me. You're trading inside the March 2000 swing point. You've closed inside the March 2000 swing point. When you close inside a swing point, volume or not, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. What you're likely to do is go up and test the top of that swing point. Remember, a measured move is just equal to or greater than the measured move out here. And until we see some kind of reversal signal, and I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm not saying that Alibaba Ba, 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 can't go ahead and ring the bell at the top. It's just that I can't predict that future. What I can tell you is if we take a look at the charts right now, what is the message of the charts right now? And the message of the charts right now is at the top of that, cons- at the top of that swing point is where the uh, NASDAQ composite wants to trade to. That's 5,132. That's another five, 600 points. And does it have to stop there? Absolutely, positively not. So we'll keep our eye on the New York Stock Exchange. But that's how individuals can go ahead and give you different price projections. I believe it was a couple days ago when we were taking a look at some of the primary trading range tools that I have, uh, uh, have, uh, have built for the uh, for the e-signal uh, platform out here by my uh, by our, my good friends the folks over at Traders Formula Consulting Group out there they're helping me to uh, develop that tool and it's a very cool tool out here I'll actually we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it on some of the ETFs during the uh, next breakout here the Dow itself when we take a look at the uh, Dow on its monthly chart it's completed one of its consolidation uh, patterns out here if I take a look at the Dow it had a 4550 point consolidation the way that I take a look at it that completed at 16300 but, folks, uh, did it have to stop there? The answer is no, it did not. And it's next level, 18,552. You can say, how do you know that? How can you do that? It's just making an A to B equals CD pattern. It's made the one-to-one level, and it did it with only a 38% retracement off of the entire move. When you do that, you're going to do more than a one-to-one A to B equals CD, and that has a price projection of 18,552. I believe that the number that uh, Larry gave to me from one of the individuals out there, that he came up with an 18,500 level. I think he looks at the A to B equals CD pattern, and so should you. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back. FNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 30 right now. S&P is up uh, 4. Composite up 7. Russell 2000 up uh, 6 points. And, and picture a world where the uh, news, where the requirements, where you and I, where we made as a requirement the news stations for the first 10 or 15 minutes, for the first at least half of their show, had to be dedicated to nothing but good things that were going on, good deeds that were being done out there versus with all of the uh, negativity out there. I'm not saying ignore it, but I'm saying don't make all the good things just some feel good story that's done at the very end of the show out there for goodness sakes out there in any event hey let me tell you about some really good news out here couldn't be any better than this how'd you like to win some money how'd you like to do it so easily look tfnn has got a virtual trading competition and that means you, whether you have used the Nadex platform or not, you need to come over to the homepage of TFNN.com and you need to sign up for this virtual trading competition. Because even if you didn't use it on a day-to-day -day basis, even if you said, hey, I'm not that good, the reality is you're better than you think out there. And you're so good, you're likely to win a prize. You're likely to win one of our daily cash prizes of 100 bucks at a minimum. Five of those going out each day. Do you realize we've got a total of 70 total prizes going out to folks out there? I like those odds. I wish I I could participate in this, but I can't. But you can. 
And the way that you do it is you get over to the homepage of TFNN.com. You sign up for it. It takes you all but about uh, 30 seconds or so. And uh, please do that, folks. Uh, don't procrastinate. Get out there. Do it. Take uh, part in some of these uh, great prizes that we have here at uh, TFNN. We work hard. Tom works really hard to be able to put together a program like that uh, for you. So uh, go ahead. Take advantage of uh, that. Now. Back to the markets out here. Uh, what do we want to take a look at? I uh, it was giving you the larger picture out there. Now I guess we got to take a look at the smaller picture, huh? What's really going on? Well, you know what I mentioned. I mentioned the uh, mentioned the uh, great tools that if you're an e-signal platform uh, user, you know, check out the guys over Traders Formula Consulting Group out there. In fact, if you're looking for an assortment of tools, they've got a very cool program that they've got out there, and they have been helping me to develop Stevie's versions of the uh, primary trading ranges. Uh, these are horizontal levels of uh, support and resistance and if we go take a look let's just start off with the uh, dow diamonds if you're watching this on tiger tv now you're going to see a bunch of horizontal lines on my screen out there and rightfully so it's a daily chart that we are looking at and the blue lines on my chart out here they happen to represent these little primary trading range boundary lines out here and inside of the uh, daily chart right now at 171.85 that is a hurdle that the uh, dow the dow diamonds need to overtake and if, in fact, they can get over that hurdle, what this actually says, says the Dow Diamonds want to make a run for the 174.42 level. The yellow line on my screen happens to be a weekly primary trading range boundary line. That is a logical. This is, this is based on uh, lots of years' worth of data, and this happens to identify areas where we have the largest number of opens and closes because the body of the candle, and that really means the open and close of the candle, not the wick of the candle, is truly the essence of price out there. And therefore, we look for the uh, largest number of uh, segregated, uh, uh, co-located opens and closes out here. And at 169.15, the diamonds got above that level. They ran right into resistance, which was a... PTR, primary trading range on a daily chart, just up a bit at the 170.21 level. Now we're at one of this midpoint areas at 171.85. That is a little bit of a resistance area. You see a move above that, 173.50 is on its area. This little red line going across my screen, that happens to be a weekly profile as well, a weekly primary trading range boundary line out here. If we take a look at the Dow Diamonds, once it gets above 171.85, it's off to the races to the upside out there. I suspect we're going to see that happen. I suspect any pullback is going to find substantial support between 169.15 and 169.69 out there. And those are the levels to be watching inside of the DIA. If we take a look at the uh, Qs out here, the real engine, the real fuels in the uh, fire. Hey, we saw the Qs pull back uh, with some pretty decent volume on September the uh, 15th out here. We're not taking a look at volume right now. We're just simply taking a look at horizontal levels of support and resistance. The Qs at a daily uh, primary trading range boundary line, 99.27 is the uh, number. We can see that this level here has been tested over a series of days since, oh, well, really since uh, August 22nd. Finally got above that level, and since August 25th, Fifth, with the exception of one day, which was on September the fifteenth, that will wash out to the downside. We can see an entire series of opens and closes right around that level. That is a key level of support. If the Qs are able to motor their way higher, we're looking at the Qs getting up to one hundred point nine one. At one hundred point nine one or so, should find some resistance. You get above that, and guess what? You're up above the next weekly primary trading range boundary and that is inside the qqq etf hey folks during this break go on over to the homepage of tfnn.com i want to see how many people i can get i'll get a bonus if you do that the bonus is that i'll know that you've got a chance to win some money go over to the homepage of tfnn.com do it now sign up for our virtual trading contest we'll be right back Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. 
By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. It's uh, not by divine intervention by what? Did I mention the word bonus out there? Well, how about this? If you go sign up for the uh, for the Nadex uh, virtual play, uh, trade a TFNN virtual trading competition out there, there are some other bonuses out there. How about this bonus here? You're going to immediately get uh, be able to get inside our tigers den out here. You know, and what it's really all about in life. If you are trying to, you know, they all, you know, that expression. I'm taking trying to take my game to the next level. What's that really mean? Well, here's how you do it. The easiest way to do it, it's really all about your peer group. When you are just simply trying to be able to uh, get from point A to point B, and I'm assuming point B is north, what you want to do is you want to just look around and you want to say, well, what's the peer group I'm hanging around? And you want to be able to pick yourself up and go to a different peer group. And as soon as you sign up, as soon as you sign up, as soon as uh, you sign up for the trading competition, that means right here. That means right now. The moment you sign up, through the trading competition, you actually get into the tiger's den. How about that? Now, that is a beautiful thing. So there's a bonus. 
And that was really just delivered. I did not know that before we went to that uh, break out there. And super bonus out here. Super bonus is Tom O'Brien is going to go ahead and host a uh, workshop September 25th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. He's going to cover how to actually go ahead and use that Nadex platform. So it is double bonus out there. That means you've got to do it, though, right now. So do it right now while supplies last out there. All right. We were take a look at primary trading range is out there, and uh, I want to go take a look at the. We're gonna take a look at the start off with the monthly chart out here for the uh, for the IWN Russell two thousand. You know, we were talking about during that uh, very first uh, segment. We were take. I was talking about the the different price projections on the monthly time frames out here. Now, the uh, tool here that uh, that uh, has been built that helps me identify these uh, horizontal levels of support and resistance. Uh, the uh, the dash line. If you're watching us on Tiger TV, the thick dash line out here at 7190 at 4782 and that is where the largest number of uh, co-located opens and closes take place as we take a look at a monthly chart and this is a monthly chart taking the data that in this case here goes all the way back to uh, june of 2000 now those were just simply set up and once those were set up what they created was they continued to create the additional equidistant I'd like that for a word out there. They continue to create the equidistant primary trading ranges. Now, the midpoints, these little dotted lines out there, those are the halfway point markers out there. And oftentimes, those halfway point markers, they can act as levels of, uh, of, of support or resistance. And take a look at this. Just take a look at how beautiful utilizing this as a tool to understand what price is doing. So I've cleaned up the chart a bit versus the first two that we looked at. So remember we were talking about, or I was speaking about, the long-term consolidation inside the Russell 2000. And we talked about how a breakout above that 1200 area, that would go ahead and complete that move to the 1350 range. Well, if we take a look at if we wondered why, which I did, and I didn't realize it until I actually had this uh, tool uh, built uh, for me for the, from the Gadget Traders formula. When we take a look at it. Take a look at this as a primary trading area, this thick, solid line up here. That is like a huge sheet of ice. It's a thick piece of ice that is out there. And price has been trying to bop its head above 120, really, for the uh, time period going back into the uh, March 1st, 2014 time frame out there. This tells us as well that any move above that, just the midpoint level, gets you to... 1320 inside the Russell 2000. And we say 1350 was likely the uh, target area. Well, guess what? You get above that uh, 13211 area inside the IWM, it says it's going to set its targets on the uh, 14415 range out there. But first, its hurdle is to clear the 120 level. What we can also see, if you take a look at this uh, monthly uh, chart for us, what we know here is that at the 108 level, that has been a very strong level of support. That happens to be your midpoint inside of the monthly chart. Now, if I just simply, I'm going to just go for the heck of it. I'm going to turn on the uh, weekly. I'm going to stay on the monthly chart out here. But I'm just going to go ahead and turn on those uh, monthly uh, those monthly primary trading range boundary lines out here and see what else we've got. Now, in this case here, I'm just looking. I'm not looking at any midpoints, but right here at the 114.65, we can see that this, too, is a hurdle. But once it clears that, it's got uh, freedom to run, freedom to run. So once uh, you see the IWM crack that 120 uh, level, I it says 120.06. I would use 120.97. Some close above that, and you can expect that over the course of time, that 132 level is where the IWM will want to go ahead and uh, trade uh, up to. If I take a look at the uh, SPY out here, just to go ahead and uh, clear out uh, and uh, make sure that we pay attention to each of the four ETFs. Now we're going to take a look at some currency pairs out here. What we can see is where the SPY has stalled out here, and price happens to be a midpoint of a monthly PTR. 201 is the uh, level out here. Also happens to be the midpoint of a daily. So it's at 201.38 that we need to see price clear in order for the uh, SPY to run up to that 201. Six level. So if we see a move above this little uh, high here from September the 4th, that number is 201.58 out there. If you see a close above that, then what you're likely to see is a move up into that 206 area. And that's using our primary trading range boundary lines. Thank you there, Mr. Bud Rolfs. So over, this is a modified version of what it is that uh, Bud teaches out there. Not just simply because I've got access to all of this great data. Now, let's go check out the uh, currency pairs, see what we've got going on out here. We talked about how important that Euro-Japanese yen is uh, to the market. What the Euro-Japanese yen has done, it's broke a descending price channel out here. And unless it gets back inside its price channel, even a market that moves lower with this moving in the opposite direction, 
It says that uh, the market will resolve itself eventually in the direction of the Euro-Japanese yen. At this stage, that is pointing northward out here. What are the price targets now that we've seen a, a breakout of that descending price channel? Well, we go take a look at our Fibonacci retracements. We go from the high out here from March the 7th down to the low that came in on the uh, trading session out here of August the 8th. How about that? Our market's made a low on August the 8th, too. Very, very interesting. Well, the next target inside of the Euro-Japanese yen, once it cracks over this little swing point out here from the trading session of September the uh, fourth, uh, September the 12th, that sets up 140.72. That is what's going on inside that currency pair. If we go take a look at the Euro-US dollar, that still is doing nothing more than just simply working it off an extreme oversold condition. Of course, what I've got to do is I've got to go ahead and put on now there we've got some of the indicators on the chart out here we can see that it's now peaked its head above the 30 level of that 14 period rsi this to me is a look not of something that has bottom but it's something that is just traveling sideways to work off an oversold condition and that says it's got one more at least one more leg to the downside that price projection by the way we put on the weekly chart is for price to get down into the 1.2751 area out there why do i give that that as the uh, level because that is an area that has held their support ever since March of 2013. That is a strong level of support. Until I see some other kind of reversal formation out here, I have to assume that the area of 1.2752 becomes the target for the uh, euro. If we take a look at the uh, Japanese yen versus the U.S. dollar out here, uh, that is on its way to a new constellation. That constellation ought to go ahead and take it up to about the 112.40 level. There is only a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD to the upside. That is a, a weekly chart that we're looking at out here, and that looks uh, pretty darn good. Let's go take a look at the Great British Pound. That we want to go ahead and take a look at not on, well, shoot, on a weekly chart. Oh, son of a gun. I hadn't looked at this on a weekly. Had you looked at this on a weekly chart and you didn't tell me about it? I can't believe my eyes out here. What is it that you see in the Great British Pound, says Steve O'Son out here? Well, we see two candles that are very important. Last week's candle inside the weekly chart for the Great British Pound was a hammer candle. That makes that low really important. Remember, I was only taking a look at the daily chart for getting to look up one flight. I hate it. When that happens to me, don't do that. Don't make that same mistake. We were taking a look at this reversal pattern out here, and that was the session from September the 8th, September the 9th, and September the 10th out there. And that was your morning star reversal pattern. You got a little bit of follow through here on September the 11th, and you are up and over that, that, that uh, as we speak today, that little downdraft session from September the 8th, the high out there, 1.6326. What I can tell you out here, even though this is one heck of a linear move down to the downside out here, is that on a weekly chart now, Let's see what else we might have out here. Any other patterns to speak of? Uh, yeah, you know, I just have to look at a bunch of different expansions. But let me go back. Let me flip her back to the uh, weekly chart, and then we'll go take a look at the monthly, see if there's anything going on in the monthly chart. But what you got out here is a clear sign of where the uh, bulls are taking their position. You got a nice hammer candle formation last week and a bullish engulfing candle this week. Hey, we're only, you know, not even midway through the uh, trading week out here, and we do have a uh, vote over in uh, Scotland that uh, could and should and may impact this uh, currency market. But maybe somebody knows something. Do you think that somebody knows something out there? What I can tell you is that uh, this hammer candle is very important. That price level is at 1.6052. And, of course, you know the game. If you see a close below that, if you're long, you're wrong. And inside the Great British Pound, if we take a look at retracements, we'll take a look at retracements that it really says you'd go all the way back to July of 2013. At least that would be the message that I would get out of it. So what we have seen here in the Great British Pound, quite frankly, on a weekly chart is a .382 retracement, a dead cat bounce. And you've got a hammer candle, and at this stage, you've got a bullish engulfing candle that is forming for the uh, current week out here. That is bullish action inside of the uh, Great British Pound. I did mention we should look at the uh, monthly chart, so since I mentioned it, let's go do that out there. Hey, have you signed up for the... Uh, for the TFNN virtual trading uh, competition out there. I hope you've been doing that. You can multitask. I know you can multitask out there because you're going to get immediate access into the Tiger's Den. I want somebody to do that right now. Right now. Just one person. Just one of you. I'm only speaking to you. 
just you. You're that one person that I want you to do me a favor. If you think that, if you think that, uh, um, that, uh, that anything that the folks here at TFNN have, have assisted you, at least in providing you with their opinions on where things are going, you know, we give. We give because we love you. That's really the way that love works, right? You just give unconditionally. We give and we give. And so there is no condition on it. But we are asking you that favor. Just go over and sign up for, uh, for the uh, virtual trading. Get access into the Tiger's Den and join a great group of people out here. Hey, if we take a look at the uh, monthly chart out here for the uh, Great British Pound, U.S. dollar, there's no kind of reversal signal, no kind of reversal candle or anything along those lines. But all that it's done has been a, a .382 retracement uh, inside of the Great British Pound out there. Let's go take a look at the Goldilocks Silver Platinum. Light sweet crude. Hey, let's go check it in light sweet crude. What's the uh, big idea here off 91 cents? Uh, light sweet crude was trying to break through that little, let's put this, we don't want a monthly chart, we want a daily chart. It was trying to break through a, a descending price channel. And, you know, I've got it marked here a little bit differently on one of my other applications out here. Um, although that's that's a pretty good one. I have to really spend a little time with this descending price channel because we did have price break above it yesterday. At this stage, you've got price breaking down back. This is the October contract we're looking at, breaking back and testing that, which is really what you want to see from a bullish standpoint out here. So if it can reject this area, can go a little bit lower than this for sure. It can get down 93, 70, 65, uh, right around that level. But as long as it stays outside of that descending price channel, that is actually bullish action after after we saw a uh, bullish reversal signal here, that key reversal day, and then a hammer candle here on September the 15th. Hey, what's the weekly chart? We don't want to make that same mistake twice, at least not during the same radio hour. Oh, how about that? No, it's not a key reversal session that we've got, but we do have a nice bullish engulfing candle here at these lows inside of uh, light sweet crude. So that looks pretty good on a, a weekly chart as well, but a lot of time left in the uh, trading week. So that's what's going on inside that currency pair, uh, that currency. Well, I guess you can say light sweet crude. Crude is a, a currency, isn't it? We take a look at uh, Goldilocks. What's the deal here? We got uh, King Dollar uh, trading back a bit off six pennies, and uh, gold really not doing anything, not moving much. Of course, let's put this back to the daily time frame out here. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, of course, this really doing nothing more than just simply uh, moving, just like the euro has been moving sideways. To work off an oversold condition, the U.S. dollar index has been moving sideways to work off an overbought condition, extremely overbought, and this looks more bullish than it does bearish out there. What impact that's going to have on the uh, commodities, I can't say, but it is a uh, bullish action that we are looking at inside of the U.S. dollar index. Of course, you knew that because we looked at the uh, euro. Nonetheless, let's go take a look at Goldilocks and let's trade each of them independently. And if we take a look at the uh, daily chart out here, you've got uh, gold that broke through that 1241.7 level has not been able to get back inside the uh, range out there meaning that low from uh, june the uh, third and that is what it needs to uh, do has not been able to do that i don't see any kind of bullish action here inside of gold and think we have at least uh, maybe another until we see some kind of reversal signal which would be some kind of sign of strength or otherwise some kind of candle reversal uh this is uh, just working off an oversold uh, condition yeah how about that it's also doing the same thing that we just took a look at inside of the euro I mean, a moment there while i take a, a swig of water that is a technical term that we technicians use all of the time in fact you should take a swig of water can't get enough water let's take a look at the uh, silver off uh, five pennies right now trading out at 18 dollars and 61 cents out here not much also in the way of bullish reversal signals Although, in the case of uh, high ho silver out here, was able to get back inside the uh, low from May 30th. And that's priced at 1870. However, you're trading just slightly below it now. So no real conviction behind that move. And that brings into uh, play out here in silver, a uh, move down to at least the uh, June 28th low, right around uh, $18.50. And that's what's going on inside lights we crude, inside silver. We didn't take a look at platinum. Let's go finish that off. That's down 3 bucks as we speak this morning. Platinum out here having uh, no signs of making a, a bottom as well with the exception of this one thing it did create a hammer candle that was on september 12th that low is very important 1356 this is steve rhodes this is tfnn we'll be right back
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, Unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, right now, we got the uh, Dow is uh, trading out at 17.157, up by 25 points. S&P up a couple, composite up three. Russell 2000, the uh, leader in the clubhouse, up uh, five bucks as, as we speak. Uh, net advancing issues inside the New York Stock Exchange. 
kind of dismal, up uh, 775 net advancing issues. Needs 2297. You see, 2297 by the end of the day, the New York Stock Exchange will have flipped to uh, bullish mode out there. Same thing with regard to the VIX. If you can close below its 50-day exponential moving average, that looks like it's right at about the 1287 level, 1286, right where you're trading right now. That, too, will be set up inside of a uh, bullish formation out there. Had a request by one of our uh, folks inside the uh, Tiger's Den, and hope I want folks, I want you inside that Tiger's Den as well. It's a real easy to do. It's a real easy thing. Just get over to the homepage at TFN.com. Sign up for our TFNN virtual trading contest to win all kinds of money. But, you know, it's not what it's going to cost you to uh, not sign up. It's what it will cost you to not sign up. How about that? Because you will be missing out on some extraordinary tools, gifts, education, the whole bit. Had a request to go take a look at uh, Potash. P-O-T is the uh, ticker symbol. We're going to take a look at all these beautiful tools that we have here at TFNN. If we take a look at uh, Potash, it uh, completed a 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD to the uh, downside, that A point. That took place on June 21st out here. And that high was 38.58. Your B point on this was the uh, July 12th level. And that was down at about 35.50. If we take a look at this little retracement, about a 30. 7% retracement. That suggested we'd see more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD, and that's what we saw out here. And as it was making that 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD, I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the screen here right now. It also formed a bullish engulfing candle out there. That was the second in a period of four days out here. You had one on September the 11th. You had one as well on September the 13th. That's how you like to see a pattern get uh, finished out here. Wait, hey, hey, wait a minute here. What else do we have? Well, you had, if you go from the uh, top of that high out here where we started at 8 point on June 21st, and we start counting those wonderful troughs all the way down. Well, guess what? You got that seventh move on the way down, about the best point that you can come in to go ahead and place a trade because you can have your stop just simply one cent, one cent below that low of 33.42 out there. You got a bullish engulfing. That was the buy. That was the buy signal, well, the real confirmed buy signal. That actually took place yesterday as price traded and opened right into that point of control of that TAS market profile. That's where price was comfortable until you broke out. And now you've broken out above resistance. That is at the 3467 level. So where's the move inside of Potash out here? Hey, let it come back. See if this thing will come back to 3467. Let it test an old area of resistance and then simply watch this thing take off to the upside out there. So you've got really three tools out there, three wonderful tools. We probably can find some more out there that gave you the signal that Potash had likely made a bottom. That is only taking a look at the uh, daily chart, though for potash out there and that was for our man i believe was that uh, peak d that was uh, looking for that out there it was peak d and peak d you got a trough g out there that was your sign to have taken that trade out here the other thing you want to watch for today is want to watch the es mini watch the december contract the number i'll give you out there is 1995.25 you get a close-up of that and it'll be off to the races. Otherwise, that roller coaster ride that we've been riding here for the last uh, couple of, well, at least the last 30 days or so, that next hill might be just around the corner. But nonetheless, folks, this market is poised at this stage to eventually go make those highs that we looked at when we began the show out there. So stay tuned. Our man Basil Chapman will be up next. Then we got Larry Pesavento, Daryl Martin, David White, the Tom O'Brien Show from 3 to 5. And uh, thanks so much for being here, folks. Uh, do me a favor. Go sign up for the... TFNN Virtual Trading Competition. Have a great day. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his 
subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN. 